Oh, that's a rip of that. He had no, he had no idea, and that's hit him flush in the hand, and this has done some damage. Yeah, just above, is it? Is it just on the wrist area? Just above the glove. Missed. First impressions was it missed the bit of the glove and just got him above it. It's on the wrist bone there. Oh, he, he's, he's, an, he, he's, he can move those fingers, so that's a relatively good sign. Of course, uh, once the swelling kicks in and he's not comfortable oh, at look all, at that. oh, there, dear. that's no good. Straight away. He's got the size of an egg. Don't know about that. <laughs> Might want to think about it, arm guard. <laughs> yeah, right on the wrist. Snuck in a roundabout where the arm guard should have been, though, Rick. Well, you know, these modern players, they, they, they wear a lot of padding nowadays, don't they? Always going out with chest guards on and the likes. Really good delivery. Oh, it's a ripper. It, he had no price. Couldn't get underneath it, couldn't ride it. It just got big on him. Terrific delivery from Mornay Morgan. Quite lucky in the end. The ball didn't go over Ross Taylor's head and back onto the stumps or that he didn't fall back onto his oh. wickets. Look at the size of that. That is just swelled up straight away. <laughs> just pull away a couple of times. Mornay might get dizzy and not sure what he's doing. He did bowl him a short one, and he's uh, headed away. But look at the way he's holding that that arm. I think he's gone. Yep, yep. He just got one that hit the bat. And actually played a nice stroke. Showed uh, a high degree of mental strength there to, to keep his shape in the stroke. Have a look at this. Nicely controlled. You wouldn't think anything's wrong. And then the minute he's hit it, uh, he knows immediately that uh, he's just not going to be able to continue.